Dahmer Dawood's art is beautiful and abstract. It is also filled with iconic letter forms. I overheard a woman named Noel who said that these were symbols from ancient Sumerian writing. The numbers and the words as you see in the painting, it uh, indicates uh, what is the Sumerian civilization in Iraq. And he put it on, on his painting. And this is very nice. Thomer spoke about this to me with Aref A-R-F translating. هل هل الأحرف هذه حقيقية وفيك تفهم معانيها؟ هو في ناس مختصة بالترجمة. He says is that he tries to relate the old culture of the Sumerians, who really are said to be to have invented the writing, with modern life happenings. And therefore, he projects these letters, Sumerian letters, and he engulfs them with scenes or expressions from everyday life now. Can he translate the Sumerian? Are they real letters? He says that there are people who are specialized in reading and translating these letters. But what is of interest to him is the aesthetic, sort of physical uh, appearance of these uh, letters. And he chooses the, these letters that fit into what he is trying to put around them. Modern day Baghdad sits on the site of some of the world's oldest and greatest civilizations. The Babylonian king Hammurabi is credited with creating mankind's first written law, which was expressed in the form of a steel. Thamar Dawood's art is deeply affected by the history of his homeland, Iraq. But it is also profoundly modern and abstract. In his work, the past gives resonance to the present. Thamar's energy with a brush and mastery of color dazzles the eye. Thamar studied painting at the Institute of Fine Art in Baghdad as well as the College of Fine Arts at Baghdad University. Before emigrating to the United States in 2008, Thamar had had numerous exhibitions in Baghdad and Amman. I wanted to know if he expected to be showing his work in the Mideast in the future. Most of his uh, connections now are here in the United States and Canada. He did exhibit in the past. I'm adding that. I'm improvising. He did exhibit in Amman many, many times, uh, and uh, he's very well known there in Amman. Uh, but now, since he's residing here and this is his new country, he wants to focus on the United States, and he has connections in Canada also. Another Arab American, a man named George Czar, helped me find out about the emotional underpinnings of Thamer's art. Okay. And what amazes me is how human beings can work and continue to create beautiful art despite the violence that's going on. Yeah. How is this possible? Well, well I, th I, I personally think artists respond to the environment. In fact, I was just making a comment that uh, when I saw Thamer's earlier art, immediately after he came from Iraq, it was a lot of dark spots, and it, it was gloomy. And I now said, it's very I said now, now I see the optimism so more reflection in this. Uh, yeah. maybe, maybe his immigration to the United States, maybe the improvement in the situation in Iraq. I really see in this set a lot more optimism, very more bright colors. So it wasn't always happy. It wasn't always uh, happy. Wait, no, 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 no. That's only our opinion. Uh, okay. I mean, at least my opinion. <laughs> I asked uh, Thamer that these pictures look optimistic and bright. He gave me the following answer. We, we are coming from an area that is, that is full of sadness. And I came here to this country and I saw people happier, uh, full of optimism. 
I, I saw the nature colorful. I saw people dressed in pretty colors. I saw people happier. I came from an area that was full of sadness, full of dark colors. Even nature was sad there. And, and that, that, that affected my spirit and picked me up. Maybe I, I, I may a bit exaggerate with these bright colors, but then that helps me, encourage me to bring more hope into my environment. On his website, Thomer shares some of his ideas about art. No matter how powerful politics can be, I do not believe that it can influence the true artist and his senses. The artist is always close to the ordinary people, close to those dreaming of hope and wanting to make everybody happy. The effect of injustice on people is always on his mind. Therefore, it is impossible for politics to restrain the artist. And just as, as I wish happiness for myself, I wish it for everybody else to enjoy with me. I hope everybody's life is colorful and bright.